Hi everyone, Caroline here. Hope you're all well. Okay, we've had the launch of the Chapter 34 Imala uh, Christmas edition, the Christmas epilogue. Aren't they all fantastic? Um, I hope you managed to get the full collection because the it was such good value for money. Uh, I still I think I think still on um, Creative Craft, or you can go along to the How to Craft Network and have a look if there's any on there that you want. Uh, I will leave links uh, in the description. I'm going to have a play with the Ski Season, which is a fabulous uh, stamp, and um, and obviously you know even. I know we're early with Christmas but uh, and the ski season, but you know we all know somebody that loves uh, skiing. And I wanted to have a play. Uh, as you know, I do older stamps as well as newer stamps. I like to combine uh, so that you get use out of your stamps. So today I'm going to be using the um, Cabin in the Snow. I've only got a prototype one, so I've not got the actual uh, cover for it. But it really is a fabulous, fabulous stamp if you've got that. If not, you know, get out something else that you've got similar. Uh, a new one uh, that is out is called Under the Trees. Again, that has a lovely, um, uh, a lovely uh, mountainous background. So, but for now, just going to do the sky. So I've done um a bit of a cutout of the actual stamp um, so that that's going to go there like that and uh, I'm going to start with the distress oxide faded jeans in fact I think I'll do a in the background. Why not? That'll be nice, won't it? So, uh, if as you can see, it, if if uh, if you don't do it too hard. You're left with little white uh, showing through in little bits. And that looks like clouds. And that's what I do. So I'm going to leave it at that. And take that off. Yes, I like that. Okay. So my, my cabin in the snow uh, is very, very well used. So and I've had it a long time. So as many of you may have, if you're new to if you're new to um, uh, Imala, then there is the stamps by me buy and sell group. So if you're wanting this, you know, just go on and on there and ask for the cabin in the snow. If anybody, in fact, I think there is someone selling one at the moment. So worth going and looking. I'll leave a link to the group. So I may have to stamp it a few times because, like I say, it's, it is well used. Uh, now, I've done um, a mask of the guy on the skis. So uh, to decide where he is on there, I want him going down there. So I'm going to pop him on. We'll see what it turns out like.
I know as you can see I've got a little bit of a line at the back there so I'm going to take my um, my mask and do that I'm just going to come down a little bit there I'm going to go around that moon as well a little bit like so and that's just taking that in over that edge there I'm going to take the skier off and pop him on. Where I've got his head there, that's it. There we are. I'm not going to do this bit here. I'm just going to do the skier. So he's gone right over the cabin. Can you see? <laughs> Just tumbling my blanket for you. This is where you can have a bit of fun with your stamps. I'm going to get my fine liner. Just going to put in uh, where these uh, this mountain is here. Straight down there. He's gone past the cabin. And he's coming down the hill here. Like that. There he is. Got the trees in the background there. And we've got his stick there. That's it. And you miss a little bit, just get your fine liner and you're good to go. Let's get a bit of colouring done, shall we? Okay. So I'm going to do his um his jacket. These are his leggings. I've always wanted to go skiing but never done it. The children of uh, two my both my boys 
uh, I've been skiing. My daughter never has, but um, my sons have, and they're quite uh, quite good skiers. Really are. They're very good. And his uh, ski boots. A lamp going over. And those are his, uh, his socks. And his scarf. And with the greys, I just want to do these um, these mountains with a little bit of shading like this you've come on the group um, Crafty Army with Carly or the Eureka Stamps by Me fan group um, I'll put links in for you um, and you've got got these stamps, you've got the old one of the cabin in the snow. Now come and let us see what you've made with it. Uh, I'd love to see it. It's just brought that snow out of it, hasn't it? And I'm going to do the trees in the background uh, green. Uh, not all green because they've got snow on them. So if you can see where it's shaded underneath, I just add a little bit of green under. Because obviously, you know, the full of snow. So, you just want that little touch of green that you can see when you look at the trees out in the snow. You can see a little bit of green. Like that. Okay, it's... Um, his skis. I want to do in a pale grey as well. And um, the cabin. I'll just get a, a brown. Of the cabin in here. Can you imagine somebody looking out that window and thinking, What is he doing? He's just gone right over the house. The cabin. I think this is a little bit of ice here bit of uh, maybe water and ice. And outside the cabin there. Fabulous. Oh, I just caught it there, haven't I? Not to worry. Um, I'm going to be using the Funky Fossil Stella Pace Starlight. Um, if you've been watching Carly on the shows, um, you will have seen how brilliant this is, this stuff is, and we're both a little bit obsessed with it at the moment. In fact, I'm not going to do that yet, just realised. 
need to put this on the card first. Leave your Stella Pace till last. So I've got an 8x8 card. I've got a, a blue matte layer. There. I've got a bit of fluff on this. I forgot to, cut my, uh, to clean my channel out on my uh, paper cutter and it was a bit rough, but it, it's done it now, it's fine. So, let's glue that down. Very little prep for this, isn't there? You know, I mean, what a quick card this is. your cards open in the right way and we'll glue this down you can use your heat gun on the Stella paste if you want it drying quick um, otherwise just you know just leave overnight you come back the day after and it's it's absolutely perfect paste now you can uh, just do it as a, a brush across like that and it just gives you that lovely glittery look if you can see that so if you can see the snow is glittering <clears throat> brush that right across I use a flat brush rather than a flat head brush. And on the roof, you can dab it on and if you can see, like little, uh, you know, so it's raised, a bit like the fluff it fluff it paste but um, you don't have to use any heat it dries hard and absolutely perfect I mean I use this as well it's called snow writer and uh, it's dimensional paint and uh, that dries hard as well You can put snow up on them mountains, like that, and on the roof, and on the trees. It's for a beautiful card. It was snow drift outside the cabin, like that. And then you can put your sentiments here. I haven't done that yet, so. Um, Put your brush in water straight after you've used your paste, otherwise it will dry hard on your brush. And there we have it. What a lovely scene. And that's the fabulous ski season. So you can use with all your stamps you've got uh, for a lovely background like that. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. Please uh, click the like button and give us a thumbs up. It does help the channel. And uh, feel free to share uh, on your social media for us and um, encourage others to come and have a look. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.